Lee, thank you for coming in from Thailand. Uh, so, so what do you cap? So what do you cap? No problem. <laughs> yeah. So, so w w where are you at the moment, Lee? Uh, I'm about uh, an hour north of Bangkok in a province called Patum Thani. Mm -hmm. And what's the temperature there today? Uh, it's, we've just come out of hot season. We're kind of on the, the shoulder of it. Uh, today was probably about 34 degrees. Okay. So it has been like 40 degrees last month, but it's starting to slowly go down. And right. we are getting more rain in the, the late afternoon and evenings. Okay. Right. So, yeah. so have, you just arrived in, nice. have you just arrived in Thailand? I've been here about 15 years. Okay. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I know you've got a family there as well. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. you've learned you've learned the language and you you understand the culture and yeah, to to a to a good extent. I probably should be a little better than I am in speaking, but I just uh, finished a year at a bilingual school where everyone was speaking English, so I didn't really speak much Thai. But mm. uh, general daily life in Thai is no problem now. Yeah, right, great. I I found the tones virtually impossible when I was there, but you've obviously. Uh, oh. You've obviously got your ear in. So, so yeah. the, the, the coronavirus pandemic, Lee, um, 3,135 cases and 58 deaths in Thailand. Now, let's just say this is less than virtually every other country in the world, certainly yeah, in the Western sure. countries. I mean, I mean is, is this, is this, are these figures genuine? I mean, is this, is this uh, seeing on the ground in day-to-day -day life? Uh, well, they are the official figures. Um I think they're definitely somewhere near to it. Um, just from the word on the street and from my experiences, the, the virus has not taken hold here now. I mean, that's we've had little pockets of it, but... Yeah, that's amazing because it was there sort of really quite early on in this, wasn't it? January, I think it was there. But... Uh, I wrote this down. The first case in Thailand was January 13. Wow. Yeah, I think that might have been the taxi driver that you, you actually mentioned him once. That might yeah, have been the, the taxi same. driver took some Chinese tourists to the airport, wasn't there? And I think it was. Yeah, January thirteenth, amazing. And 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 so, how how did it start affecting your life? Well, when did your life start to change as a result of the pandemic? Uh, when I started watching your videos. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, seriously, um, I I heard about the, I guess it was January. I started hearing the news reports from China, and then for some reason, you were making the videos back then. I'm sure you were because yeah, around in January, yeah, 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 around that time, I started thinking, well, what's going on? And I started probably watching your show, and I got to be honest, with dread. Sometimes when I saw you pop up and pop up on YouTube, I was like, yeah, oh, no, what's happened now? It's Dr. Yeah, John yeah. again. Uh, but I watched it anyway, and it was it's been useful, very very useful. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it was in late January, I started taking real notice of it. February, it started sort of the rumours started circulating in Thailand about, about a virus maybe being here. Uh, I, at one of the schools I was working at, there was a rumour going around that uh, at a hospital quite near the school, there was a COVID-19 patient. But I, I don't really know how accurate any testing would have been back then anyway so that rumor sort of died away i did get sick myself in around february with a sore throat uh a bit feverish and there was there were things going around the school that were put down to influenza a this is where you teach yeah yeah and i i had wondered because the thing that i had took a long time to go away i was feeling quite low for a few weeks mm. Interestingly enough, around that time, I also developed a bit of red eye. And there was, there was a, a bout of vomiting and diarrhea as well. This is all around the sort of same sort of time. So I have wondered whether, mm, you know, it could have... It could isn't red eye one of the things that can... It can, can, can be, yeah. And, and what, what, yeah. what about your sense of smell? I, I can't remember that. I... I no, I can't remember. I, yeah. I mean, it could have happened. Yeah. Uh, but I don't remember it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be interesting to ask a few of the people in the school who had it if they lost their sense of smell as well, especially the younger people. Yeah. Well, I'm still in contact with them. But it, the, the, the sense of loss of sense of taste and smell is not something that I remember coming up with anyone. So. Yeah. 
But then again, if it was short term, it's something you might not notice for a couple of days if you weren't feeling too good anyway. It's, uh... Yeah. I, I don't remember it, but yeah, I definitely had a sore throat. Yeah. I lost my voice. I had a slight, pr slightly productive cough. Mm. Um, was the cough dry to begin with or was it always productive? I think it was... I think it was mainly coughing to remove remove the little bit of mucus yeah. that I had, yeah. rather yeah. than it being a dry cough. So. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's so frustrating. It does sound like influenza A, you, you, that you have a degree of immunity to, but it also sounds like COVID-19 as well. It, yeah, just, it could uh, be, yeah. yeah. Although, although the, 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 the gastrointestinal features aren't so common in, in influenza, that does sound more COVID-19 type uh, illness. Uh, this was particularly severe as well. <clears throat> yeah. You know, again, all around the sort of same time frame, but I didn't link the things together because yeah. they sort of seemed to happen over uh, sort of a few weeks. Yeah. So, be interesting maybe, when we when we get the when, when antibody antibody testing is widely available, we should have a much better idea of uh, of these things. Yeah. yeah. So, so what about the public health measures in in Thailand? What have you noticed there, early? Uh. Well, the first thing I will say, which is you, you've already mentioned before, is mask wearing is basically universal. Um, today I went out to the supermarket. Uh, you, you have to wear a mask before you go to the supermarket. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but, you know, even in places where it's not necessary to wear a mask, people are still wearing masks. And, and that has been the case since this, even before the, the COVID-19 started. It's very much people, part of the culture in Asia, isn't it? It's part of the culture, yeah. yeah. And it makes sense to me, and it made sense to me, you know, before. I mean, it does, from my understanding, seem as though there could be quite a lot of asymptomatic people yes. walking around. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I might be one of them, and if at least if I've got a mask on, even if I don't cough, even if I sneeze, and it's completely unrelated to COVID-19, I could still obviously spread the virus so mm. for me wearing a mask is it makes sense yeah and it protects other people i mean do, do in, in thai culture is there this sort of um collective sense of looking after the community as well yeah. as looking after the individual yeah. i i think more so and like as i say even before covid 19 started people would wear masks when they were sick mm. regardless of covid 19 the idea being you know I, i'm sick I don't want to give it to other people. Yeah. So you, you, you've you lived in England, Lee, and you, you've lived in Australia. Do, yeah. do, do you feel that, that the Australian UK culture is more individualistic? That, yes. Without trying to put words in your mouth, is that there, there is more, uh, more community sort of coherence in Thailand? That, that I, th that, I think that's definitely, yeah, I think that's definitely the case. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Though I haven't really lived in Australia for quite a long time, but yeah, I, I still think, you're right there, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A any public health measures taken by the local authorities that you've noticed? Yeah. Um, every time I go to a super... Uh, uh, for example, if I go to 7-Eleven, um, which is just a small convenience store, I will get the temperature gun and then I'll get my hands sprayed Yeah. with uh, with disinfectant. They, they is, there now someone, have, is there someone there doing that for you? Yeah. They so, actually so, it's my hands. so it's mandatory to disinfect your hands before you go into the store. Every 7-Eleven that I've been into, and I've been into a few, yeah. yeah. Uh, there is now a tra uh, tracing app. It's called Thai Chanat, which means uh, like Thai, victorious Thailand or Thai victory or something is the translation. Yeah. Uh, and that's something that you, an app that you download on your phone and when you go to different shops or whatever you can I, I don't, actually don't have one at the moment but i guess you can go there and then in the future if there was a person with COVID 19 at that particular place at that particular time you'll get notified yeah do a, do a lot of people have that app on the phones i don't know at the moment it's probably not that been around for that long yeah we uh i'd say in bangkok more Mm. Where I live is sort of sort of suburban, reaching the rice fields area. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's only just started. I mean, it's it's something that I may look into.
mm. as well. Yeah, sure. Has your school been closed down or has it been open all the yeah. time? Yeah, no, it um, around March the 5th or 6th, mm -hmm. the students were told to go home. So and, they live in the UK? Yeah, mm. and they never they haven't been back since. This was all educational facilities in, in the country, Lee, was it? Pretty, yeah. Yeah, wow. pretty much. Right, so Ma I'd say around March still 6th. Still closed. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But the, uh, I actually have a new job. I actually resigned from a job just as this was starting. So it was a bit of a strange time to do it. But uh, my next job, I had a meeting the other day uh, with one of the schools I'll be at. And... Uh, I'm not sure if it's set in stone yet, but they're, they're talking about not wanting more than 25 students in each class. Right. They're talking about maybe the school week going for six days because obviously... Yeah, like yes. Yeah. Smaller in, classes, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I'll, I'll be working in a Thai government school and some of the classes are actually quite big. They might be like 40 kids. Mm. So, obviously, to s separate them out, the timetable is going to have to be completely you know rearranged yeah so. so there could be earlier starts later finishes saturday working but but yeah. s lower number of kids in at the same time yeah makes perfect sense doesn't it yeah it does and also i'd i'd say air conditioning will be a no-no right so, now, it's an interesting one isn't it so so yeah um, the air conditioning in places like schools is, is sort of a, a collective air conditioning it can like blow from one classroom to the other uh it's generally self-contained classrooms with their own air conditioning it's right. not a, a, a um oh, okay what do you call it? it's not an yeah. overall yeah. air conditioning for the whole school there are individual air conditioning units in individual classes um but i even before the schools closed the school i was working at once once this whole COVID 19 situation started the air went off and the windows went open interesting so, yeah, mm. I've heard that. So I've heard that. So everywhere in Thailand, basically, turned off the air conditioning, opened the windows, diluted the virus. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, it's going to be hot. Sure. Uh, when I go back, I'm sure. gonna, I know what it's going to be like. But um, I'd say I can imagine the scenario of me <laughs> with a mask on, probably one of those visor things as well. Mm. And all the students with masks on, with all the windows open, and hopefully fans also circulating the air. I think that's about as good as you can do. Uh, I agree, the, th the through draft of air. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I lived in Thailand for nearly a year once without air conditioning. You do kind of get used to it, as, as you know. It's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, Wait, how, of... how long ago was that? Oh, this is way back. This is 80, 84, 83, 84 I was there. Were you here for a cool season? Um, it, it, it was it was most most of the year. So I arrived in September in the rainy season. Then we went through the hot season. Right. Yeah, yeah. But so you've just... experienced the Arctic temperatures in Thailand of the cool season. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I think I wore a jumper for a few days once. <laughs> that would that would be about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That would be about no, it. It. It, it. It's pretty good, but you, you do get used to it. So so that's interesting. So there was this. Why were people in Thailand so aware of the importance of knocking off the air conditioning and opening the windows? Were this public health announcements or did they just something they just seemed to know? I, I didn't hear any announcements. It just it seemed to be sort of like a common sense yeah. thing to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, well, when when they suggested it, I obviously just thought good idea. No one yeah. questioned it. I mean, if yeah. there's viral particles in the air thin them out a bit blow them out absolutely yeah exactly it makes sense yeah. to me so yeah and, and, and what, it what, may have been a directive from the government i don't know though yeah okay well what, what about non-essential shopping and things like that of, of uh, shops and malls uh uh the thing? yeah the the sh the shopping malls have been closed up until i think about at least two or three weeks ago they were reopened right um but but with Pub, controls with controls presumably. Certain controls, yeah. 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 Um, like pub uh, pubs and clubs are still closed. Right. So they obviously they don't want tightly packed people in bars and pubs drinking sure. and 
socialising and possibly spreading the virus. Um, the, these were closed at an early stage. We're talking way back in in February, March. The Mar March these were closed. If I would say, yeah, through, yeah, Mar yeah, around March, yeah, sometime early to mid. Yeah. And then uh, I think international travel into Thailand was stopped in early April. Yeah. What about so domestic been... travel? What about domestic travel? Is it easy? Uh, I've today I read in the news um, they're going into something they're calling phase four mm. of the lockdown. Mm. Mm. Uh, and I think as from as from tonight, <laughs> there is no curfew. Right. But but there has been. There has been. The curfew was from 11 o'clock at night till three in the morning, which is strange to me, but OK. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, domestic travel, I just read today that it will be going back to full capacity with mandatory mask wearing. And that is, uh, I think that's as of tomorrow. Yeah. Is Thailand a fairly hygienic society, a sort of hand washing and things? Did that come fairly naturally to the Thai people? Yeah, I, w I would say it does, yeah. 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 So so people yeah. are practicing good uh, respiratory hygiene. People are practicing good mask hygiene. Everyone I, uh, is, yeah. is ventilating their work areas. I think they are. I, I honestly think the mask wearing has been the key, yeah. or at least one of them. It may also be the weather. I know that's a slightly controversial mm. thing to mm. say, but th th it's been hot. I mean, it's been really hot. Yeah. Um, and everyone's wearing masks. Um, mm. Yeah. Well, what about what about social interaction generally? Are people allowed to go out and mix with other households, or has that been controlled as well? Not so much. No. Uh, I mean, I've I've visited my parents-in-law a few times. Um, mainly, it's been schools, uh, pubs, clubs, and uh, the yeah, shopping malls. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, within within shopping malls and within. Like uh, today, I went to, to to Tesco, which you have in England. Tesco mm, Lotus sure. is, in, is in Thailand. Um, when you go in, your temperature's checked, you're sprayed. You have to wear a mask. But once you're actually in the shop, mm, I mean, I, I've heard stories from America where people are actually, I mean, there are lines on the, the floor physically yeah. keeping people. That's, that's not happening here, though. Is Thailand a fairly disciplined culture normally, though? I mean, do people tend to comply with these regulations? Good question. Uh, yeah, I would say so. But but the, I mean, it's a very social, social, mm. social culture, mm. with, you know, mm. lots of people eating out and sharing food and being close yeah. together. So, yeah. I mean, in that respect, they've done well. Mm. You know? What, what, how how do you, do they have hearty handshakes? No, they use yeah. something called yeah. the Y. No one, I mean, they. So there's, there's not I physical. So when, when you meet a stranger, there's no physical contact. Uh, usually, no, very, very, very little. So you, you, you just weigh them like that rather than change. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So no, I mean, I, I the only handshakes I give are to other. Westerners. Oh, the Westerners, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe occasionally, like if I'm at a job interview, the the Thai boss might shake yeah. my hand as a yeah, if, if he's trying to be Westernized or you know yeah. just trying to be friendly. But generally, no. No, it's, it's certainly not part of Thai culture, is it? Thais wouldn't no. dream of shaking each other's hands when they met. It's just not no. not not what's done. What about no. hugging and kissing in public? Is that is that encouraged? <sighs> no, <laughs> not at all. Uh, I'd, I'd say when I first came here back in 2001, it was quite rare, rare to see couples sort of holding hands. Mm. Now I think it's a little more, a uh, little more prevalent than it was. But generally, no, because there's not a lot of yeah. touching that goes on. Yeah. So what, what I'm trying to work out, Lee, is, is, I mean, basically what you're saying, what you're reporting to me is that the, the facts on the ground indicate that the official data isn't too far off, which yeah. basically means Thailand's opted out of this pandemic. I mean, it's a spectacular achievement and, and, mm. and it's, it's very similar to Vietnam, really. So so what, what we've kind of identified is the universal mask wearing. That's got to that's got to be a biggie. Yeah. Um, early close, early closing down of places like schools and things like that. I mean, I mean, there's no question about that. Um, yeah. Turning off the air conditioning, having good ventilation, blow, blowing, blowing fresh air in. Sure. 
sure. and, and, and the good quality hygiene, regulation of public spaces and, and the non-tactile, na- na- the non-touched nature of society. Yeah. And I mean, th- these, the, the, all these things are very cheap. Well, they don't cost anything, do they? Yeah. You know, we're just looking at basic behavioural change. And yet it, it appears that Thailand is basically bypassing this pandemic at the moment. So hopefully, like Vietnam, what Thailand can do is just sit it out and wait, wait for a vaccine. Yeah, well, it's, it's not just Thailand. I mean, it's I'd say uh, Cambodia and Vietnam are similar. Yeah. In, you know, it seems to be a similar theme throughout the three countries. Malaysia yeah. didn't do too badly from what I've read. Yeah. Uh, Singapore possibly had a bit more severe, but uh, not, not within the ballpark, it's not too bad. Mm. Yeah, I, th- I think I think the, the the similarities in the culture between Vietnam, Thailand, and Cambodia would never be admitted by those three countries. <laughs> but uh, you know, having been to all of yeah. those areas, I, I do feel a, a commonality of culture between yeah. those right. between those areas. So I think that's got to be significant. Mm. Um, it, it's I still get the impression we're missing something though. Is, is there something else you think we can learn um, from fr- from the Thai experience that we can use to inform people in Africa or South America or I'm, I'm sure we'll see this in the next year or two but it's kind of hard to get a grip well, I mean uh, again I think the physical distancing does play a part like what you said um, mm. that, that's the cultural thing yeah yeah, yeah I, th- I think it's I think it's definitely the mask wearing and the physical distancing yeah. that have helped yeah yeah Interesting. So, so I, th- I think the message is that all countries that don't wear masks start wearing them now, every yeah. public place. Be meticulous about your hy- hygiene, and uh, we, we can we cannot have physical contact between people of not in the same household for 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 the next uh, well the for the foreseeable future. Really, I, th- I think they're the yeah. key messages. Um, yeah. Now, t- Thailand's a sunny country. Um, do, do people tend to avoid the sun in Thailand, or do you think people are in the sun and getting plenty of it? Well, that, that that's an interesting one because uh, there are there's a fair proportion of the country that will avoid the sun. Yeah. Uh, because they don't want to get a suntan. They and it's so hot to... in the sun, you cook. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, personally, I've been getting sun every day now with my coffee since this thing started. Yeah. Right. Uh, and uh, I actually do feel better for doing it. Uh, yeah. But like whether a bit, of, the, a bit of overall exposure. Yeah, I, the shirt comes off and yeah, I'm yeah. out the back. No one yeah. can see me. And, and all, uh, all is 10, 20 minutes in Thailand as well. And that would well, be... Yeah, it's it. that's right, yeah. Uh, but it the, take for you to burn in Thailand? It depends on the time. Uh, of not long. In 10 yeah. minutes it could start happening, yeah. Right. So, so I, I generally go out in the morning. You can probably make all the vitamin D you need in five minutes then in that case. I think so, yeah. 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 But, uh, like, again, the, the the average Thai will avoid the sun. However, whether they're getting enough just through happenstance of just, you know, yes. throughout the day, I'm, I'm not sure. But, but vitamin D supplement's not a common recommendation as far as you're aware. Not that I'm aware of, no. No, no. Interesting. Though, whether they get it through their diet... More yeah, or not quite, is, I mean, f- f- fish sauce is in everything in Thailand, isn't it? That's, that's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 interesting, right? That, Lee, Lee, that's that's really helpful. Th- thank you. It's uh fascinating to know what's going on in Thailand and the fact that um, it does look like that the pandemic is not affecting Thailand extensively, which of course, you know, is 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 really good news. I'm just absolutely yeah. delighted about that. It's uh. Well, I'm I'm hoping that it continues because, as, as yeah. I say, July first, I will be back in a classroom, and there's always the danger that we we go back and, you know, there's a few few outbreaks and uh, everything's yeah. shut down again. Um, I went to a meeting not so long ago, preparing for online teaching if it's required. So they're sort of hedging their bets. Hoping that it won't happen, but preparing if it does. I get hundreds of inquiries about how I make my videos. Uh, <laughs> there's yeah. nothing fancy; it's just OBS Studio and a couple of my couple of cameras. But yeah, uh, I'll have to do a video on it one day. But yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. No, no, it, it, it's that's another interesting question, of course, that the change that's going to come about as a result of this is, is definitely going to happen. Yeah. So how do you see Thailand over the next over the next year, Lee, just before we finish? Well, I, I, I think they've done well. I think I think that the next test for Thailand is is obviously they're, they're quite reliant on tourism. Yes. And uh, they want that to start kicking along, which is understandable. People must be really uh, suffering economically. Uh, people are suffering. So they want to kickstart, get get the tourism happening again. I, I, That will be the thing that could reignite if they're not careful. If they do it too hastily, I mean, there's the idea at the moment of these travel bubbles they're yeah. talking about. Yeah, uh, which might be like Thailand, New Zealand, Thailand, China. Though maybe not China now because no. Beijing is. Ki Kiwis is, would ki New Zealand would be fine. Kiwis would be fine. <laughs> Kiwis would be fine. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Australia seems to be rapidly heading in that direction as well. Yeah, yeah. So that's an so interesting I, possibility, isn't it? Air, air, air corridors between um, New Zealand, Australia, Thailand. Yeah, that yeah. that'll probably be how it starts, and that's yeah. a sensible way to do it. Um, yeah, if they can control it and keep an eye on it, we could probably do quite well. Yeah, I think. Well, let, 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 so uh, because I know I know there is real economic difficulty with a lot of people in Thailand at yeah. the moment, and it, it's uh, you know it's, often people don't have much reserve there, so it's quite mm, quite an important important thing for them. So I, I, I know well, what subject do you teach, Lee? Uh, generally English. Okay. Conversational right, English. Right. Uh, I have taught other subjects as well. The the job I'm going into will be mainly practicing conversational English, bit of right. writing. Okay, right. So, I've heard I've heard on the grapevine though you're a musician. Is this is this correct? That's absolutely correct. Okay. And I've also heard on the grapevine you've got a, a fascinating video of uh, you you were. Uh, do, doing a, a song in in location in Bangkok is that also correct? You're very well connected. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> correct information. Good. Yeah. I, so, would, would you like to introduce the song, Lee? Then we're going to play it straight after this video. If anyone wants to stick okay. around to that. Um, thank you. Yeah, I, I've I've got quite a few songs that I've recorded in Thailand on YouTube. Hopefully, there'll be a link. I've also oh, got yes. a Facebook page. Absolutely. Absolutely. There will be a link. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess the so there's, there are two songs that I recorded and, and shot videos for in Bangkok, but probably the most professional one, the most professional looking one would probably be the best. So, You're going to have um, to choose one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The, the song that I will include is called Calling All Day. It was shot in Bangkok uh, at the train station, uh, at the airport, a few other locations that you, you may remember. I remember them uh, well, yep. Yeah, and uh, it was shot 2018. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, let, let's hope people stick around for that. Lee, thank you very much. Fascinating. Um, my, my admiration for Thailand and the people of Thailand, I think they've done it immensely well. I'm I agree. That, yeah, yeah. I'm delighted that you and your family are well, and, and let's hope yeah. it, it, conti it continues that way. And uh, st stick around for the song. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Lee. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Dream. 
I've been calling, been calling